Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is Amy This is Heavenly Host Vision Wisdom. I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. There is a clear way in front of you. Please do not deviate. Just keep going. God has confirmed a clear direction for you. God has confirmed a road towards your destination. And it's so obvious. It's so clear. It's well understood. God is such a one you to not deviate. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Where is that you are going to this moment? What is that you have been thinking of establishing this moment? How do you want to view life at this point in time? What is it like? What is that you have been trying to focus on and you've been asking yourself, should you or should you not? Should you engage in this or should you refrain? It's been like there's this doubt and fear and confusion and options coming towards you, but your heart is focused towards something. And now that God has revealed this thing to you and has confirmed this thing to you, the enemy has been trying to bring doubt in your heart, to bring confusion in your heart, to bring other options to having you, like to completely deviate your deviate you from your focus. Please, I am here to warn somebody. Just according to how God began to reveal to me this morning. He said there is a clear direction out of you. He has confirmed something to you. He had really, you, 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 the prayers, the answers of the pray the, 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 the prayers have been given to you. The, the answers have been given to your prayers. Prayers have been answered. Prayers have been heard. God has feedbacked your prayers with answers. But it, it feels like it's not enough. It feels like you want you want more. You want something else. Like you are comparing and so you are comparing situations. Our uh, God is an author of confusion, beloved. If he says yes, it is yes. If he says no, it, it, it is no. He will not give you his word and take it back. The Lord God says that, 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 that the, the, uh, uh, the Lord of God comes, you know, and, shall, and, and must fulfill a purpose for which it came for. So the word of God has come to you and has really fulfilled the purpose for which it came for. But the enemy has been trying to distract you. The enemy has been trying so hard to steal your focus, your attention, to steal that destiny that is in front of you. God is true, beloved. You know that he has already given, confirmed something to you. And he's saying that this distraction in between, what is this? This is the distraction in between. There is something that is trying to sabotage the whole process. But he's bringing you back to focus. He's bringing you back into focus. You must arrive your destination. You must achieve that goal because it is already established in the, established in the spirit. God has already gone in front of you. Do not be afraid. Do not take another route apart from that which God has already given to you because if you go another direction, you are going to crash. If you go another direction, beloved, you, some of you, it's like you've been confused recently and what God has given to you is like trying to, to compare things to take another direction and some of you have already been crashing. Some, some have already been, they have been, they have been crashing because they have been trying to stop, to be so stubborn. Someone has been trying to be stubborn. Please, hold it right there. Come back. Come back to where God is taking you to. Come back and focus here. I am calling on someone's attention back. I'm calling on someone's spirit back. I'm calling on someone's soul to be back and focus and go to where God is directing you towards. God has confirmed everything. It is set. But the enemy, Jesus, they came to challenge your destination. 
They came to challenge the plan of God. There is something that God wants to accomplish in your life when it comes to this destination that you are headed towards. Yes, there is something. I mean, if you miss this destination, if you miss this voice, if you miss this calling, if you miss where God is taking you towards, you're going to regret it. It's not going to be so funny. It's not going to be so funny. This is the time that God is carrying you to your destination and he has already confirmed this, this to you. What, whatever it is that you've been focusing on in this season and you've been working on in this season, the Lord said, please stick with the plan. Stick with the plan, beloved. I kept hearing the Lord say, stick with the plan. Forget about what's supposed to happen, happen ahead. Just stick with the plan. Stick with the plan. Because the Lord your God is here to carry you to your destiny. He had already gone before you. He had already assigned his angels to prepare your place, your place of learning, to prepare that destination. Glory be to God. God has gone before you. When it comes to this destination he has, he has put before you right now, please listen to this word of God with an opened mind because God is not joking. He's serious. He's truthful. He's saying things to, pre to, to preserve you from being stressful and losing because of stubbornness. Come back and focus on what is in front of you. Focus on the instruction that God has given to you and you will not regret it. You shall not regret it. Even though you might face some challenges uh, uh, you know, ahead, just like now that you've not even you've not even started, you've already start, you've started, you've started, started facing some distractions, doubt, fear, challenges. Yes, more will come. But you know, God's requiring you to stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. God is taking you somewhere. He's taking you to your destination. You've been dreaming about something and praying about something and Hoping that it manifests in your life. And this thing cannot manifest in your life if God has not taken you through this journey to arriving there. You must take this journey. You must take this path that God is showing you in order to arrive where you are headed. To arrive your destiny. Don't be afraid. God has already gone before you. As our 52 verse 2 says, I will go before you. Hallelujah. And make crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. The Lord says he's going before you, he's making crooked way straight, meaning that he's going to overcome challenges, situations on the way for you. What seemed to be impossible, he's making it possible for you. What seemed to be so hard, he's going to be making it to be so easy for you. He's going to cause it to be so easy for you. The Lord says, please go. Do not be afraid. God is moving you this moment. Your God is moving you this moment. Go. Abraham went. He moved. And his life was a success. Move right now. Move. Blessed please move. Someone is moving. You have to you have to be strong this moment. You have to be strong in this. This is a very strong message, beloved. You have to be strong in this season to move, to take that bold move, to take that step. Stick to the plan. Stick to I have the Lord said, please stick to the plan. Don't deviate. Yes, the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. They've seen where you are headed. There is something God wants to use 2025 to accomplish in your life. And the journey begins now. The journey begins now. Move, please. Do not, do not close your ears to whatever that people might be trying to, to, to tell you. You know, just close your ears. Close your ears. Turn your ears away. Turn your eyes away from this, from things that are trying to distract you. Because sometimes we are so carried by all manner of things that come targeting, distracting us, and having us feeling a certain way. Please just pay attention to where you are headed. There is a glorious future. There is a glorious destiny. There is a glorious, there is a safer landing for you. And you shall be so, so happy. 
it shall be so so happy i love you so much but christ loves you even much 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 more faith is our vehicle and love is our stream please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and let's continue to ride on this journey this is heavenly host vision with lady stay tuned and be blessed